the social aspect and the social importance and the cultural importance of breastfeeding cannot be overstated, particularly in certain parts of the world where you know, a, a number of women that, that I have looked after would say, because I would say, okay, we take use these drugs, we may or may not have maternal delivery and we advise you not to breastfeed, thinking that that was the easy part, but actually women would find that the most difficult and would say to me, well, you may as well tattoo HIV on my head if I don't breastfeed, mm. because it is what everybody does. So therefore, wow. we started to, and it, we're not there yet, and guidelines have been slow to evolve in places like Europe and, and even slower in the US around, look, if somebody's on antiretroviral therapy, their viral load is undetectable and they want to breastfeed, we should support them in doing so. And those numbers are now also going up in, in certain UK and in, in parts of Europe and like I said I think the US, US has been a bit slow with that but that is something that we hope that in the same way that years ago I'd say well we need to do a cesarean section and then actually you know we, we were able to switch to vaginal delivery that in a few years we can much more comfortably say well you know breastfeeding is, is absolutely fine but it, we're, it's, it's much more now about giving the women information allowing women to make their own informed decision and a slightly less hopefully paternalistic attitude that perhaps has been the case over a number of years.